reiterating that the Meghalaya Regulation of Gaming Act 2021 was brought to regulate existing gaming parlors in the state. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma on Thursday said that repealing the act will be counterproductive as the regulation regulates on who can play inside these gaming parlors. He also urged the public to take his commitment on casinos given on the floor of the House seriously, adding that giving a commitment without meaning it in the Assembly would be in contempt of the House. So first thing people have to understand that this regulation has been brought in to regulate existing gaming parlours. The existing gaming parlours are not regulated. If one repeals this act, then again these gaming parlours will be functioning illegally. So hence, you need a framework to regulate things. That's number one. Number two, this particular regulation also regulates on who can play inside different gaming parlors. The concerns of the citizens has been that the local youth and the citizens should not be allowed to play. If this particular act is repealed, then the, in the existing gaming zones and existing locations, wherever anybody wants, they can freely go and play. But if this regulation remains, then there can be a restriction on certain areas and activities where locals cannot play. So this act is actually serving the purpose of what the people and the different organizations have been demanding. That's number one. So repealing this will actually be counterproductive to what they want to achieve. Number two, the question of, as I said, starting casino, which was an issue that uh, we had started seeing the debate starting in the month of May. And when the different church leaders and organizations had met me, I had made it clear to them that uh, we will not proceed. I have also explained to the House that this was being done in a manner in which we thought we were balancing out all the different aspects of revenue generation for the state because we need revenue. But at the same time, we were doing it in a manner that would not affect the majority part of the state and this would be towards the border. So we actually were working towards having a win-win situation where the gaming would be right at the border, close to Guwahati, not affect the rest of the state, but yet we would be able to get taxation of GST, maybe close to about 500 to 600 crores of revenue would come in. And that was the objective with which we went forward. When we came to know that there was concerns by the citizens, I told them that since the concerns are there, we will not move forward. And hence from that day, in the month of May 2022, you will see that government has not proceeded in any aspect. There are more than 10, 15 applications lying with us even today. They have not been processed. We have not moved forward because we have said that we will not go ahead this until unless we take people into confidence. And then, then only we'll decide the way forward. The three licenses which were given provisional basis have expired today, in fact, six months. And they were provisional licenses which was given way ahead of the public debate that started in the month of May. These were given on March 29th. So hence, at that point in time, certain processes started. And it was, as I said, with the goal to, uh, uh, to increase the revenue and also with the goal to ensure that the gaming would happen in a specific zone. So I've made it clear, even on the floor of the House, and a commitment has been given. I cannot give commitments like these on the floor of the House without actually meaning it. I would be you know, in contempt, and uh, it's not correct, and it's not done. And therefore, as Chief Minister, I have given a statement. I think this statement should be taken seriously. And those people who have doubts should believe that the fact that if Chief Minister has given a statement on the floor of the House, it means serious business. So therefore, when I've mentioned that we will not proceed on these aspects, but repealing, as I said, is not, a, not an issue, not, not a point going, we are going to discuss because this act regulates the existing gaming zones, which is also required. But the question of going into new gaming zones and areas has been stopped as of now and we will not proceed until unless we are able to discuss with all stakeholders and, and then only we will discuss and see the situation and then decide on how we should move forward. So till then, everything has been put on hold and I've made this statement on the floor of the House and I think the stakeholders and other people and individuals and groups should take that statement of mine seriously which I've given the floor of the House. Well, what sir, about bringing sir, amendments uh, to the... There is no amendment to be brought in. There is nothing, there is no amendment. It's a very simple act. It just talks about online and offline gaming, and therefore the amendment issue is not there. There's nothing to be amended. If there's specific areas to be amended, then they can, somebody can bring in a suggestion. But as of now, there are no areas that have come up to be amended. On a question regarding if the Act will promote online gaming and betting, he said. Now, today, uh, online gaming is happening from Dubai 
happening from international countries, happening in the state, happening in uh, different parts, and uh, different kind of bettings take place. Now, if you were to assess, which I, I mean, I need to explain this to you well because you may not know, is that when it comes to betting, there are two categories of betting. There is something called betting on chance, and there's a company called betting on skills. Betting on chance is what we call as gambling. And hence, there are different rules and laws that are there to look at which particular game is gambling and betting on chance. Betting on skills is something that government of uh, India is in the process of classifying. But different high court orders have allowed betting on skills to take place. Now, there has been a high court case that was there in Maharashtra, which spoke about Rami. And there was a point in time when um, the government of Maharashtra said Rami is gambling, is betting on chance, and hence it should not be allowed. So then the High Court came up with an order saying that no, there is a large amount of skill involved in this, and hence Rami is a game of skill, and the betting is on skill, and hence it's not gambling. So your question is only half-baked, that's the reason why I had to explain this whole thing to you. Betting on chance and betting on skills are two different categories. And hence there are different activities that take place on betting on skills, which are happening throughout the thing. You know, different games that are there, uh, I don't know the different names, but um, um, anyway, I, I can't remember the names. But there are different um, online gamings and apps that are there that, that are playing. Most of them are gaming on skills. And therefore, that is something that will continue. Whether Meghalaya government does it or not, or people in Meghalaya start it or not, it's immaterial. It is online and it's happening throughout the country and throughout the world.